Hi, this is Quint Lears with NewHomeSales.com. I am here with Brian Fluke. We are at the International Builder Show. Uh, Brian's with Power Marketing, and uh, which is affiliated with Infusionsoft. Tell me about that. We're a partner with Infusionsoft. Uh, we've been in business for 25 years. Quint, you and I have known each other for quite a while. And uh, about two years ago, we partnered with Infusionsoft to begin selling builder builders marketing automation. Less than 1% of builders out there are using good CRM and marketing automation tools. And we partner with Infusionsoft, a $100 million company, and they're working with us to put something in motion that's gonna help builders really change the way they do business. For all the people that don't know, okay, let's dumb it down. CRM, what does that mean? Why is it important? Why can't I just sit in my model home and wait for them to come to me? Well, of course, CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. It, it's, it's all the things that have been here before, Act, Salesforce, and all these different softwares that help people collect data. What Infusionsoft does and what our program, Easy Lead Locker, does is it is a way for not only builders to collect data, but to capture people's information, to begin to nurture them, to move them from being what I call a suspect to a prospect to a sale. That, that's amazing. Now, what would make that different and why? Tell me again, um, for the frontline new home salesperson, how would they find it? Why is it important? What, what, if they're not doing that, what's it mean for the company and bottom line percentages? Tell me about that. Well, you know, the, the sad fact in our industry, Quint, is that way too many bil builders and sales teams are ignoring customers. They come in, they visit our sales centers, and we're not, we're not following up. We're just not getting the job done. When you put a program like this in place, Infusionsoft and uh, Easy Lead Locker, it'll help you begin to capture who those people are and make sure that they never get ignored again. You know, marketing automation isn't the end all for selling the house, but it's the best tool available for making sure that that person becomes a legitimate prospect. You can, you can sort of reel them in, if you will, and it does it while you're sleeping. So you have more time then as, as the frontline salesperson to reach out to the people who are really ready to close the deal, while those who aren't, you're working them with software a little bit more. Some salespeople are afraid to follow up. They don't want to be the pest. They're, they want to walk on eggshells, and I'll wait for them to call me. I'll be polite. What would be your answer to them? What, I mean, what's the customer's perspective? Tell me about that. I, I got to tell you, Quinn, I wrote a, a blog back in March of this year, and the name of the blog was Your Sales Team Sucks. <laughs> and I don't want it to be crass, but the fact of the matter is, too many salespeople are not following up. We're not chasing these leads down. When someone shows up at your model, they've expressed an interest. They're committed. They, they have something in mind. Of course you want to bug them. You want to drive them nuts until you get them back in the door again. That's our job. That's what we get paid to do. I couldn't agree more. Um, now, I've known Brian, um, servant to the industry, a leader in the industry. Um, the book you wrote actually has had a big impact on my career personally. It's called Master What Matters. Probably you can better still get it on Amazon. It's a great book. Still get it on Amazon. Um, Brian's been a keynote speaker. He's a master in residential marketing. What do you see? What's the biggest challenge for okay, for all the frontline salespeople that are watching this? What message do you have for them? Here's the message: Don't try to be better. Being better is boring. Being better is a hamster wheel. It, it, every builder out there is trying to better the next guy. Forget about being better. Figure out how to be different because our, our brains are literally programmed to respond to differentness, to novelty. Figure out a way to position your organization, your sales pitch, so that you're different. Forget better. Better's tiring. Be different. That's fascinating. I actually remember the study where um, uh, sameness was the number one complaint of home builders and their representatives. I think you're right on with that. Oh yeah, I, you know, I, I've been doing this for a long, long time, Quint, and I jokingly say to my audiences all the time, I've never met a builder who isn't a quality builder. Well, the fact is, when, when you get to the level of competition, competition that some of these guys are, those kind of differences don't matter. Quality doesn't matter because everybody makes the claim. You, you just can't rely on that. You have to be different. You have to set yourself apart in a way that is recognizable and gets attention. That better doesn't do it. That, that, I, I like that. I like the hamster wheel. Um, so give some encouragement for the people that are on the hamster wheel. You know, it, this business it is, is hard. I mean, you get pressure from the builder, pressure from the buyers. So two questions. What keeps you going? Because you're, I mean, you're doing keynote speaks, you're writing books, you're doing this thing. How do you keep going and, and what would you say to the person right now that's discouraged that, I mean, you've got longevity in this business, so give me some tips about that. I do. This is, 
I've been at every International Builder Show since 1987. Every single one. And here's the key. I'm passionate about it. I love this stuff. You know, my, my company's purpose is written on our walls. Our purpose is to empower the home building industry. It's what we do. It's why we get out of bed in the morning. I love it. Uh, that's what I do. So if you're getting out of bed in the morning and you're selling homes and you're not loving it, you need to find something else to do. Because if you're passionate about it, man, you'll be able to pull it off. Be different, be passionate, find out what sets you apart and go do it. By the way, has a great answer. Has it been a good show for you this year? What do you think about the traffic, everything that's happening out here? Uh, it's a great show. Every, every year is a great show. This is this year. This is the first year we've set up a booth. I've been here all those years. First year I've ever set up a booth, and I set up two: one in Sales Central and one here. And it's been a great show. All right. Th thank you to Power Marketing for being the the sponsor of Sales Central and and helping with all that. Um, you, Again, Brian's been one of my mentors, one of the people I study. I read his books. Highly recommend him. Highly recommend him. Any last words? Nah, thank you, Quinn. I'm glad this, to see you doing so well. This is a Quint Lears of NewHomesales.com with my friend Brian Fluke. How do I contact you? What's the website? What do I need to do? Our website is www.power-marketing.com. You can reach us at 301-416-7861. Love to talk to you about your marketing. Brian's the best in the business, so thanks again.